The construction industry on its own is responsible for one third of the waste of this planet. We cannot keep on knocking down buildings and building new ones. There are lots of different projects where we can adapt them, save the construction carbon, and turn them into something new and beautiful. The Standard London is one of those amazing destination hotels. The hotel almost puts their arms around you and gives you a big hug. That sense of joy also wants to be translated into its architecture itself. The building is from the 1970s, a building which is dirty, a building which is not modernized anymore, is normally something a lot of people would like to demolish. So how can we save the embodied carbon, which is within that building itself, save construction cost, and turn that building, which is part of the history of the place as well, into something very special? Every retrofit is different and interesting as a result of it. There's never exactly the same approach every time. We've got a concrete core with a concrete facade and two levels of basement. These complex shapes can be drawn into deep, but they can only really fully be understood in 3D. In the building industry, you don't have a prototype. Every building we build is the prototype and the finished product. Revit and 3D modeling allows us to understand complex shapes a lot better. Using a digital twin of the building itself, we can zoom into every single aspect, we can spin it around, coordinate it with the structural engineer, with everyone else, before we even start on site. We did as much research as we could to find the bones of the building. And then using Revit, we built a complete 3D model. And that allowed us to really retain as much of the existing building as possible. Within Revit, you can assign properties to the materials, the embodied carbon, for example, and that allows us to quantify how much carbon is going to be used. When we design buildings, in a refurbishment setting, we are instantly constrained. To get to that next level of sustainability, we need to understand heating, cooling, ventilation, lighting, granular detail, and really design how to use energy wherever it's needed. Having a tool like Revit means that we can map out energy systems, designing extremely efficient buildings. We need to ensure that the buildings we do build now are adaptable. We need to have the documentation in place to ensure that elements can be reused. If we need to share collaboratively and quickly and online and do clash detection and build the building together, only Revit can do that. Reuse and retrofit, those will be the architectural tasks of the future. Buildings which have been designed in a different period for different aspects, we can bring them back to life to secure their future for the next generation.